So I'm in Chiang Mai in northern Thailand uh, looking for traditional healers that come from uh, more of the indigenous uh, roots. However, uh, what I found was that uh, Thai massage is to a penny. I couldn't really get down to the indigenous roots of Thai massage, but there is something called Lana massage, which I will be looking up soon. However, Northern Thailand is a confluence of China and Lao and Miramar, and so Ayurvedic medicine here is actually surprisingly bigger than I thought it was. So uh, I came across an Ayurvedic clinic um, yesterday, and I noticed they did uh, clonic irrigation, so um, I'm going to go and have a clonic irrigation. Never done it before, I'm a little bit nervous, um, but apparently it's great for things like indigestion, uh, if you had long-term antibiotic use, which I have, that's to do with stem cells. I'll tell you about that on another video. And um, yeah, IBS, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to give it a go and see if we can uh, improve my digestion a little. Okay, so uh, I'm here. This is the place. Um, I'm going in. The, interestingly, the lady who, uh, or the ladies, there's two of them, who will be helping me out, uh, have uh, asked me not to film them. So I'm going to film myself only. Uh, I'm not quite sure why. My suspicious mind is maybe for medical legal reasons, um, but uh, hopefully they're just being shy. So I've been asked to take off my underwear and uh, put on a sarong, lie down here, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now I'm lying on my left side. The lady is uh, put on some latex gloves. I can't film her, remember that. And um, you just got a chew, a bit of jelly. Something is gonna happen very, very soon. So now I'm on my back. Um, I have the probe inserted, filling up my lower colon with a liter of water. Mm. And at some point, um, it will need to come out. It goes out the same way it came in, obviously. Uh, into the probe and then it goes into a little machine and I'll try and get a picture of that should you want to see it. So I'm watching this uh, this pipe with interest but uh, it doesn't look like uh, anything exciting is coming out but it's a much weird sensation. We've never had it before it's like um, it's a bit gross but it's like having like a, like a really uh, watery poo Let's say you've eaten something really bad, and uh, they're just continuous, liters and liters and liters, being flushed in and flushed out. So it's involving a lot of concentration, uh, relaxation, and uh, um, what's the word? Uh, presence of mind, I should say, to hold it all together. So we've just been joined by another lady who is very kindly going to massage my stomach as the water goes in and out in kind of a rhythmical, uh, yeah, rhythmical pressure exchange, we can call it. Um, as the um, massage takes place, I uh, seem to be more relaxed and more things are happening. There you go, you scatologists amongst you. Um, there's a little bit of scat, fecal matter that comes out when she works hard into the uh, into the stomach like this. There you go. Mm -hmm. Should you be interested? So some people would say that uh, the clonics are bad for you, that they take out all the beneficial bacteria that's in your lower gut, and that, that may well be true. So um, in the medical world, you can get that replaced by fecal transplants, uh, basically taking a poo from someone and putting it in your colon. But I don't have access to that, so I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way and just eat good beneficial uh, sort of probiotic foods, maybe take some probiotics, and hopefully recolonize my colon with good bacteria because uh, with the process of the, of the uh, colonic irrigation it flushes out a lot of bacteria as well. So I found this diagram on the wall and this is so this is the area of the, the sigmoid colon here and uh, that's basically where the water goes into but I think it gets up to around here this is one of the flexors I was telling you about where it's pinned and there's a 90 degree turn in it and the other one is here. Now in between these two points the colon can go up down and around. It, 
it's never really a set a set path between here and here but we know it goes here and here so she was focusing on massaging me here here a little bit down here in the uh, idiosecal valve and each time she hit these points whew, more stuff came out so just kind of it's interesting observation so I was mentioning earlier about the um, pr the probiotics well actually at the end I've got a nice little probiotic kombucha tea oh. Sour. <coughs> very nice um, like yeah <laughs> which is a, <laughs> a bit like vinegar I'm sure it's very good for me and that will help uh, propagate the healthy bacteria back into my colon again um, whew, cheers Let's walk back to my hotel and there's a couple of points that I like to bring up in uh, conclusion. Number one is I need to chew my food more. Uh, solid stuff should not be coming out the way it did. Uh, that's sort of eye-opening. Uh, number two, um, I just walked back. It's 15 minutes walk I've just done. That's too long to go without being near a bathroom after clonics, just so you know. Number three, how much did it cost me? It cost me 1,200 uh, Thai baht, which is about 50 Canadian, 40 US. Um, yeah, kind of, kind of fun little thing to try. I'm not recommending you do it on any medical advice or anything like that, but just for the experience, uh, look it up, find out whether or not you think it's going to work for you, and if you want, give it a go. It's not that scary.